What's going on guys and welcome back to Forza Horizon 3. Now instead of a cross country car build today, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be doing a decades championship. This is where different countries from all around the world are going to take part in different rounds. Uh, the rounds are going to be 1960s cars, 1970s, 80s, 90s, 2000s and 2010s. There's not going to be the exact same countries in every round so it's probably not the fairest thing in the world. However, I wanted to see what countries had what sort of cars from different kind of eras I suppose. We're starting off today with 7th place and it's United Kingdom with the Jaguar E-Type S1. All these cars were um, built up to the top of A class so they're all the exact same 800 PI and um, yeah this is going to be in order. You don't know what countries they are yet but this is going to be in order from slowest to fastest. So we had some cars in this round. Last place was the United Kingdom with the Jaguar E-Type. Um, this car felt fairly fast. I don't know why it didn't go so quickly. It did a, um, a 1 minute 4.164 which um, yeah not not quite that fast compared to the other cars that you'll see in a minute however this car wasn't too bad to drive in 6th place is the USA with the Dodge Charger RT now um, straight away from driving this car I could tell that it was quite slow I drove this, this was the second car that I drove um, and it did feel quite slow and sluggish around the corners and even on the straights and stuff in acceleration zones compared to the car that I drove before it which comes up later on this list um, yeah this one just didn't really feel that good the grip pretty good because this thing has massive tires on it I mean American Muscle Cars always get massive tires on front and back mainly back um, so the grip was amazing but um, yeah the acceleration and the, uh, the handling was not really the best Coming into 5th place is Italy, they went, well I chose, the Fiat Dino 2.4 Coupe, um, a car that I haven't actually driven in any game before so I thought you know what, I saw it and I thought oh, I might as well give it a shot, it's a fairly cool looking car um, and yeah, it, it, was a, it was a fairly nice car to drive actually, once again, kind of expected this one to be a little bit higher up there, um, however it wasn't I guess, uh, this one did a... And you have a look at 1 minute 3.530. Uh, the Dodge before did a 1 minute 3.664, so it's just slightly a tenth of a second quicker than the uh, the Dodge. And yeah, it was actually a fairly nice car to drive. In fourth place, it's Australia with the Ford Falcon XR GT. Now, um, this car was in, I believe, the first DLC pack. Was it the first DLC pack or was it the second? I actually can't. I think it might have been the second actually. I'm not sure. It was in a, um, it was in a DLC pack anyway. Um, and yeah, this this car was it was nice enough to drive. Really, I was expecting this to be a little bit more like the Dodge Charger. You know, it's a it's pretty much a muscle car, an Australian muscle car. Um, but it was actually it was a bit nicer than the Charger. A bit more speed, a little bit better handling. That's why it goes into fourth place. Um, yeah, actually quite a nice car to drive. Not really a big fan of Falcons. It wasn't terrible though. In third place we have Germany and with the Opel GT. Uh, this is a car that once again I haven't driven in any game before. Most of these cars that is the uh, that is the way it is. But um, yeah it is actually quite a nice car. I do quite enjoy driving this car. It's a fairly nice looking car for a car from the 60s and um, yeah all, all around to, you know together it had good acceleration. It had good cornering. It was a bit slidey at some points. Got sliding around a little bit. However, it wasn't too bad. Um, it was, you know, you could fair chuck it around the corners because of that slidiness. You just had to be careful that it didn't step out too much because you would have issues. In second place, we have Japan with the Datsun 2000 Roadster. Now, I believe I put the Turbo Rally engine in this car, which is always an interesting engine. Um, I, I think I did anyway. I'm not 100 sure. Fairly sure I put the Turbo Rally in it. And um, yeah, it was it was quite nice. A little, probably one of the slidiest cars I drove. Um, you know, it got sliding around all over the place, you had to be quite careful with this car, and it was the first car that I drove around this track. I did actually drive a, um, I think it was an Acura Integra R around the circuit just to kind of get used to it before I took these cars out. Um, but yeah, this was the first car of all these seven and that I took out, and it was nice. It was a nice car to drive, a little bit slidey, however, the acceleration and the speed was pretty good, and it's why it goes into second. And in first place, maybe a bit of a surprise, is Sweden with the Volvo 123 GT. Um, I saw that there was this car in the 1960s category and I thought, you know what, I might as well get Sweden in there. I mean, they're not going to get into every category. I think out of all the categories, they only get into 
maybe three, maybe four, three or four um, out of about six categories. But the Volvo was a good car, and um, it gives Sweden a good start to this championship, although they probably won't be able to come out on top because, you know, they're not in all of the championships like most of the other countries, um, you know, Germany and U USA, they're in every single one. It still did a bloody good job here. So we go on to the points. Now this is the point system I'm going to use. First place gets 15 points, second place 12, third place 10 points, fourth place 8 points, fifth place gets 6 points, sixth place gets 3 points, and seventh place gets 2 points. There's no more than 7 uh, countries in any of these championships from what I remember. So um, yeah, that's how the point system is going to go. And yeah, right there, that is how we are at this current point in time. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please go ahead, like, and subscribe. Comment what other videos you would like to see on Forza Horizon 3. And I will see you guys in the next video.